in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18, it says, We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. This is referring to looking at the spiritual and looking at the eternal, the qualities that last forever. I have an office piece of furniture, and it has drawers, and it has a big uh, table top where you can put things, but there's a big open space. It's always been an open space. And I began to see the unseen, and I could see how that open space was being wasted. And so I envisioned a shelf and other shelves where various pieces of equipment would fit, and there would be an extra shelf to, to put things on, like an extra desk shelf, and then the other equipment fits in the middle. So when I went to the store today, I got two pieces of boards, uh, about eight feet long. I had them cut them in half, about four feet long, although I could have gotten an eight-foot piece of wood in my Prius because I put an eight-foot stepladder in there. But it's a lot easier if you have four feet. I'll grant you that. And so then I came back and I envisioned where to cut, where to nail, how to put them together, to measure, and it came out just right. Now, if anyone walked in now and looked at this, they would think, well, that's naturally there. It's always been there, I'm sure. But it hasn't. It takes a mind that can envision something before it happens. God envisioned you. He envisioned you with your talents, your gifts. He envisioned you with all kinds of special qualities that no one else has. He made you special and unique, a peculiar treasure. And so today, for this daily dose of Daryl, I want you to realize that before you were, God knew you. He envisioned you. And now that you're here, you can begin to be more and more each day like he envisions you to be. We're called to grow more like Jesus Christ, to be like God in our lives each day. So that when somebody comes in and sees us, they will think, well, that person's always been that way. Kind, nice, trustworthy, special, honest. And yet, you may know that you weren't always that way. So let's envision the same vision that God has for us and allow him to shape us and mold us and put us together so that we're useful and that we fit in just the way he sees us fitting in to his will, his purpose, and his mission. This is Daily Dose of Daryl asking you to be sure to have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And I know God will bless you.